You can only do one thing at a time. You, if, if you look at your whole roster, if you look at your entire roster, and you say, I want to fix my mods, and you try to fix the whole thing, you're just going to get lost. It's going to feel like so much work. It's going to feel like it's completely overwhelming. And you know why it's going to feel like that? It's because it is. You can't look at the entirety of your roster and think, I want to fix my mods. You've got to dial in and look at one character at a time, one mod at a time, one fix at a time. Greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. Make sure to do the liking and subscribing. Mount the algorithm, as some may say. <laughs> Like and subscribe. Good things happen in your life when you do this, and your family will thank you tomorrow. Anywho, the question of today, how to fix your mods. Now, this is a video I've made in the past. We talk a lot about mods on the channel. I had some questions on the stream yesterday, and I thought, hey, let's come in and address this straight on, head on. And there were some specific questions like, who do, how do I know who I need to fix their mods next? You know, that's a good question. And how do I know when to move on to my next fixed mod set? So, Let's address all of that and what's a good speed set for a mod and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's address all that and, and let's talk about first, who do you got to work on fixing for your mods next? Who is your next character to mod? And I'm here on my Nooch2 Lightspeed account and I'm going to be doing spending some time here. Then we're going to jump over to a, a members account here next. Just kind of take a look at that and use their account as kind of a springboard as well. But if you look at your roster, and you've got Galactic Legends on your roster, or you've got really good characters on your roster, uh, generally speaking, I think the place to start is right there with your Galactic Legends or your other characters. And I'm gonna be honest, I haven't looked at these mods in a little bit, so I'm not sure exactly where these are gonna fall. Now, when you look at a Galactic Legend, you want to have the right mod set on your Galactic Legends, and then you want to have all of your mods over 20 speed. And that's going to be across the board on Galactic Legends. I'm going to refer you as if you want to know what kinds of mods to put on your Galactic Legends, I'm going to refer you to SWGOH.GG. It's your best modding resource, how to mod teams. I've got a bunch of modding videos out there as well. How to mod First Order, how to mod Resistance, how to mod CLS, how to mod Phoenix, etc. A lot of those videos on my channel as well. But if you want to look at specific characters, specific Galactic Legends, SWGOH.GG is a great place to see how all the top characters are doing their mods. And if I look at my Galactic Legend Leia here, she's got 32 speed there, 24 speed in health. Health is what you really want on her. 21 speed. Actually, I'd like to get a better mod there if I could. Because uh, you can see it's only rolled four times. 25, 26, and 22. This is a complete character. I could step up and get another speed mod rolled. And speed is king. If you're wondering... If you're here, if you don't know, speed is king. These secondary speed mods on an arrow, the speed primary. These things are the king. So I could work on a better health health mod for Leia Organa to get another four, five, six speed on her, maybe. That's a pretty good mod, though, where it is right now. So I'm going to say I'm good with Leia Organa. I don't need to work on her. And this is how I do it, guys. You go by character by character. You see what they've got on them. You see how their mods look, and you see if you got to work on it. So let's look at my next Galactic Legend, Jedi Master Luke. I'm looking at protection and speed here. There's a speed arrow up there with a bunch of protection. A fair amount of protection, not a bunch of protection. I could use some more protection there. That's not a great, that's not a 20 speed mod like we mentioned before. I'm going to go ahead and enhance this one time and see if I, there we go. So this is, <laughs> for, the, <laughs> for those of you, and that was only three speed, but for those of you who watch my modding content, uh, you know that this always happens when I record a video, when I do a stream, I hit it. I, I hit the speed. I should probably, well, that, this mod needs a lot of work. Now, here's a mod that I need to work on. So let's talk about that in a minute. There's 25 speed there. there I got to work on that mod too. So I need to work on my Jedi Master Luke mods. Let's try this one too. Uh, yes, there you go. I, to I, I told you. <laughs> I feel like I should be I should be a poker. I should do poker videos. <laughs> Cause when I'm doing the videos, it go really <laughs> I told you that's what happened. Look, okay, so let's talk about these two. So when I'm looking here, when I'm looking here, these are mods that I can work on on Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. My cross is 13 speed and it's maxed out. It's maxed out. It's got 4% protection on it, which is really good. You want to have a bunch of protection. 
um, his this one 11 speed is not doing it for me. So let's see what I've got available to me right now. I'm going to look at speed protection mods. That's going to be my cross. And I go down here to the cross and I'm going to sort by speed. You can see my selection here is really, really, it's really light. I don't have a great selection of mods here that have a lot of speed on them uh, for protection. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do first, let, we're going we're gonna to make some uh, attempts at this. Let's try out this, this green mod first and see, I'm, I'm kind of low here a little bit, so I don't have a lot to work on. Uh, but let's take a let's take a, take a shot. There. Okay, that's not going to work. So I'm going to abandon that. I don't want to work on a four speed blue mod to get anything done. Yeah, there we go. So I'm done upgrading those lower level mods. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this one I got on Hera here. Just see if I can maybe pop a speed here. Okay, there you go. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Let's pop a speed here. No, okay, okay. I can't I can't will it every time. I'm just saying most of the time. <laughs> Let's remove this crit chance here. Let's calibrate this, see if we can get another speed on here. And uh, now more crit chance, or less, maybe. We'll see what happens here. Uh, yeah, that doesn't help me at all. Discard. Let's try one more calibration there on that crit chance. See if we can get a speed roll there. This is already a better mod, though. And I'm going to keep that health percentage, too. We're going to keep that. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and assign this to Jedi Master Luke. And now I've got better bots. And now I'm gonna go to, to my uh, to my diamond here. I'm just gonna walk through the steps here for you guys, so you can see exactly what we got going on here. Here's a diamond. We sort by speed. I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna move Leia's here. I don't want to move Mara's either. That's a 20 speed. I don't want to move that. I don't want to move a lot of these mods. I want to keep them right where they are. So let's see. What's this purple one at? 10 speed here. Let's try and take a shot here. That didn't really help much, but let's try. We we just did this with Hera, right? So. Maybe I can hit us. There we go. 14. That Now that's better already. I was already only at 13 before. Uh, now let's try one more time here. Yeah, I, I don't... By the way, I don't know if I recommend all these rolls I'm doing here. I love that 7% protection for sure. Let's re-roll this crit chance again. See if we can hit a speed. That is not. That is more crit chance. This is These are the struggles you go through, guys. These are the struggles you go through. They, they can't all be gems. Just most of them when you're... There you go. That's what I'm saying. Just, just do it. Just, just do it. So, hey... This is a real brief primer on... Uh, we're going to go ahead and assign that. <laughs> I'll need to fix those mods for those other guys. I just added 11 speed and 2,000 protection and some health. 4,000 health to my Jedi Master Luke. So that's how I do it. That's how I fix my mods. Now, the cool thing is, those two mods that dropped off a of Jedi Master Luke, I get, I get to go assign them elsewhere. So this is how I'm looking, generally speaking, how to fix my mods. I start with my best characters and I, and I roll my way down. Another way to do it is to go and sort by speed. And if you don't have any Galactic Legends yet, you're going to start with the best characters in your roster. You want to go to t to players or, or characters that need a lot of speed. Characters like Mara Jade on the Starkiller team or Mara Jade with Palpatine. Mara Jade just needs a lot of speed and potency. Admiral Piet, Moff Gideon. I don't know that R2 needs to be that fast, but he is, and he goes in my Leia Organa team, so I'm leaving there. Commander Ahsoka, Captain Rex, Boosh, Leia. These characters all need a lot of speed. My first one here I see that doesn't really focus on speed so much is Commander Luke Skywalker. He's really going to be an offense set. So I'm going to look at that offense there. 32, there's 12. I could work on these two, 23, 15, 19, and 21. I could work on these for sure, but the way you do it, a really good way to look for the for the next character that, that needs to be upgraded in the roster is to sort by speed and go through and see who is sitting there at the top of the speed, at the bottom, who needs more speed, etc. Let's talk about a, an alternative method, and this is kind of an obvious one. I'm working on Jar Jar right now, right? So my Gungans are characters I need to focus on their mods. I need to look at their mods, see how their mods are going. And when I look at my secondary teams, non-galactic legends, yeah, 20 speed is kind of, you know, 20 speed is kind of the benchmark, right? If you can get your entire roster with 20 speed secondaries across the board, you are, you are sitting pretty and you're going to be doing a lot of damage in all game modes, right? But if we back up a little bit, and if we just say, that's kind of unrealistic for most people, let's set 15 as that bar. If we can get every mod, that's not, obviously a speed arrow is going to have a speed primary. It's going to be a 32 speed on a 6 dot, or 30 speed on a 5 dot. But if we can set 15, and I don't know, I, have, I, have, I don't remember what these mods look like. So, but if we can set 15 speed as kind of a benchmark for our, for our roster to try to get everybody to have 15 speed secondaries in all their mods, I got a 13 speed right there on his cross, uh, on his, excuse me, his square. I got 14 on the diamond. I got 16 on the circle. Only six, but I want, 
That's a potency there. And I've only got nine here on this one. Let's try and roll this one more time. I'm not sure this is a great mod to re-roll, but I'm trying to show some stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and slice this for more protection. Give me give me a speed. Come on. Hit me again. There we go. This is, that's just, this is just how you do it. It's just how you do it. <laughs> I'm going to try again because... Uh, I'm gonna roll this. By the way, percentage health, per percentage stuff is better than base stuff. 2301 protection is nice. I like it, but I like the percentage potency better than the 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 protection stat itself. So I rolled some more potency, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the hit of 400 or 500 or 570 of protection, and I'm gonna take that 2% plus 2.3% potency and add it to him. So there we go. So that's that's how you look for a character if, if you're farming a character right now if you're in the midst of farming for gas or cls or or gungans or or slkr think about the mods on those characters that's going to be a big priority for you and something to really think about the characters that you're working on right now and it's tougher to work on them like captain tarpels here i don't have him at seven stars and i don't have him at gear 12 yet so i can't put really good mod. i'm just holding off i'm waiting on his mods I haven't even looked at what mods he uses yet. Actually, I don't know. I'm going to assume it's going to be like offense mods because he's going to do a lot of damage. He's kind of your attacker here. Um, he's a tink of something. Um, but until he's gear 12, and I don't have him seven stars, I can't put those six dot mods on him yet. So I'm kind of holding off on Captain Tarples. No, so that's the that's the two main ways I look at, at my... Which which characters am I working on right now? And what teams, am I, what teams am I farming right now? And then sorting by speed and starting at the top of your roster, looking for, for characters that need a lot of speed on your roster. And you'll find those. If you go to swgh.gg, look at a character, and they've got a speed set, they need a lot of speed. Now, there are certain characters to prioritize over others. Maybe that'll be a video for the future. But definitely like Mara Jade. You saw them on my roster. When you look at my speed, these are characters that all want a lot of speed. Mara Jade, Admiral Piet, Moff Gideon. They want a Captain Rex, Commander Ahsoka, Boosh Leia. You want Yoda. You want a lot of speed on these characters. So there you go. Now, um, how do you know when to move on to the next character, and what are the benefits there? And for this, I'm going to move over to I would move over to our members roster. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name, but I'll be back here in one short second with it. Okay, here we are on Connor Ashley's roster, Mystic Sphinx. Thanks for all the support, Connor. We're going to take a look at your mods. And by the way, uh, a comment that Connor. And this is really funny. So a comment he made to me on YouTube I was like, "Hey, can I use your roster?" To look at mods and and can you make sure not to fix any mods between it's like three days ago but whatever and he says there is a ten thousand chance percent chance i hate mod work and just suck at it so there you go so, so there you go so if we look here we look at his galactic legends let's start with ray um you know she's got a nice little offense uh, that's a pretty good mod offense offense there's that 15 minimum we look for again we want to try to get to 20 on your galactic legends but if you got one Galactic Legend that can survive with a little bit less speed, it's probably Ray. So this is an okay mod set for Ray. We look at Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I think this is where I really, really want to start the conversation here. Uh, 32 speed, 13 speed, crit chance, by the way, this doesn't go here. Another note, guys, there's not that many characters where crit chance is a great primary stat to have. You know, uh, I think that Calvin made a really good video about crit chance characters. Go look it up. Maybe I'll put the link in there and, and whatever. Um, characters want crit chance. There's not a lot of them. And even even those characters, sometimes you can sacrifice some other stuff to do some other stats for them. So I don't like crit chance here. I want crit damage. I want, I want Kylo doing as much damage as possible. I do like the offense here, but 8 speed is just not very exciting. 19 speed and health is okay. Defense, 19 speed, that's okay. 60. Now... If this was my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, this is exactly where I would start to fix my mods. I would start right here on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And I would start farming speed mods. I'd go over to my to my mod page. I'd farm speed mods for, for a week, maybe-ish. I'd, I'd hopefully come across an offense cross. I would probably start farming speed mods until I obtained and upgraded an offense mod to at least 15 speed, if not 20, okay? I would be working on Kylo until I got that done. That's my number one goal. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you can only do one thing at a time. You, if, if you look at your whole roster, if you look at your entire roster, and you say, I want to fix my mods, and you try to fix the whole thing, you're just gonna get lost, it's gonna feel like so much work, it's gonna feel like it's completely overwhelming, and you know why it's gonna feel like that? It's because it is. You can't look at the entirety of your roster 
and think, I want to fix my mods. You've got to dial in and look at one character at a time, one mod at a time, one fix at a time, and then move on to the others. And let's keep talking about how that's going to happen. So if I had Connor's at, uh, roster right now, I'm dialing in on this specific mod on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and this specific mod on Supreme Light Leader Kylo Ren. I'll bet I can find a crit damage mod out there on my roster that's going to be better for me than this crit chance one. And I can work to upgrade it right now. And once I get that upgraded, I can move this crit chance down. And that's what you do. When you upgrade this and you get a better mod in here, you take this off of this character and you put it onto another character. And that's how you filter down your roster. One mod at a time, one character at a time. You fix your, your crit chance triangle. You turn it into a crit damage triangle for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You get 15 plus speed on it. And then you come back later and get 20 speed on it. And each time you fix it and replace it with another mod, you take that mod off of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and you filter it down to somebody else that needs speed and maybe isn't as dependent on the primary stats right there. And we talk about that. Like characters that want a lot of speed generally may not be as dependent on the primary stat. Like they can take a crit chance. I would put a crit chance. If I had a crit chance triangle and it had, well, that's, a, this is a pretty, this is a, that's a nice mod, dude. That's a nice mod. But let's say I didn't have this mod. I had some crappy low speed mod on Piet and I want to be really, let, no, let's back up. Let's back. Let's go look at Mara Jade. Let's go look. Mara Jade, the main thing for her is to get her really, really, really fast to go along with your star killer. So when I fix Kylo's triangle and I get a crit damage mod on Kylo, right? When I get a crit damage mod on Kylo, and it's got like more than, it's got 15 speed or more. I'm going to take that crit chance mod and I'm going to move it down to Mara Jade. Now is crit chance great on Mara Jade? No, I don't, I don't think crit chance is a great, I'd rather have crit damage on her than crit chance, but I'd rather have the speed on Mara Jade than the crit damage. The speed, the speed, the speed. When you get a character that needs a lot of speed, that's what you want to do. Filter the mods down. And then you take this mod, you filter it to somebody else. You just keep filtering and your mods filter and filter and filter. So you, you put a new mod in, you take a mod off. You take the mod that you took off, you put it into another character. You take their mod off. You take that mod that you put off, you put it on another character. You take that mod off. You keep filtering down and down and down your lineup. And you're going to find that over the course of three, four, six months, it takes time. It's a grind you'll be fixing your mods for sure. Now, when to move on, last question we'll address here. We talked about it a little bit. So let's talk, let's go back to Kylo here and let's go back to this, this cross here, this offense cross. So if I farmed a speed mod that was an offense primary, I got a cross, I, my first step would be to get a, a mod with more than eight speed, more than eight speed. So if I roll it three times, I'm probably gonna be somewhere in the 12 to 15 range, somewhere in there. So that'd make me, I'd be okay with that. And honestly, if I got, if I get like a 15 speed mod, I can, I can, guys, you can, you don't just upgrade mods up to, and by the way, if you need help upgrading early mods, you want to go watch my mods 101 video, my mods playlist. There'll be a link to the playlist at the end of this video after the credits. There's always links to videos after the credits. You can go watch that video over there, mods 101 or my mods playlist. That's the video you want to really talk about how these speed secondaries work, how to roll speed secondaries. You too can roll speed secondaries just like me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, anyway, I, right now, my main focus is just to get more speed on here. More speed, more, more, more. So if I get a mod with a, a, a speed mod with an offense primary with 13 speed on there, I'm gonna put it on Kylo. I'm gonna take this mod and move it to somebody else, okay? Then I'm gonna keep working on this, but I'm gonna keep working on this mod. A galactic legend you keep working their mods until you get them to 20 speed. And you just you just do it that way. You just keep working their mods until all their speed secondaries are 20. Let's go over to Ray and let's talk about it. I, I mean, I talked about how I'm gonna work on that cross. That's the first thing I'm gonna work on. But let's say that I decided to start working on this cross for Ray. My first steps are gonna be to do some more slicing. I'm gonna slice it and slice it. And I'll bet that if I slice it, I can get that fifth speed roll and five's the most you can get. I'll bet I can get that. But let's say that I didn't. I'm going to start working on this mod. You know, if, if I'm done with Kylo, I'm going to work on this mod and I'm going to try to get a 20 speed mod on Ray here. 
You want your Galactic Legends to be at 20 speed. And then when I get done with this, I'll roll this Offense mod. Offense and Health is a great mod for, for a lot of characters. Um, it would work, uh, Dash Rendar, that would be good. it would look good on Commander Luke Skywalker. Not great on Commander Luke Skywalker, but the offense on there would be really nice on him. Um, the health, he, you know, you know, um, it could even go well on Starkiller, maybe. Although you kind of want offense, offense, but sometimes, guys, you got to sacrifice a little bit to get a lot, right? So, that's all, that's what I'm saying. So, you work on these mods, as you get a better mod, you roll it out, you move the mods to the lower characters, and you're going to filter through your whole lineup like that over time. And boys and girls, uh, that's how you fix your mods. You look at which characters you're going to fix, uh, who's the fast, do you have any Galactic Legends, get them all to 20 speed secondaries, and generally speaking, you want an arrow with a speed primary. Although for like Jedi Master Luke, you can get a protection primary if you got a big old speed secondary. For like Sith the Turtle, you can get a health primary if you got a big old speed secondary. Uh, uh, Lord Vader, you can get a protection primary if you get a big old speed secondary on that arrow. But uh, the other ones you want to you want to filter. Look at your Galactic Legends first. Get all their mods to 20 speed or better. Then filter down to your next fastest characters need. And I think probably I'll do a top 10 list of the non GLs that you want fast, right? That, that you want to be fast. We'll do that next week. Well, I'll put I'll write that down. Um, then once you pick your or or are you working on a farm right now? You know, work on that farm. Get those characters uh, sped up and work their mods. When do you move on? I'd say 20 speed is a move on point for your Galactic Legends. 20 speed secondaries and 15 speed secondaries for every other character, but the ones that really, really want a lot of speed, try and get them to 20 as well. But 15 is kind of a benchmark that you want to get to and you feel like you're you're in pretty good shape with those mods. And then uh, what do you do with the mods? How do you fix it across your roster? It's just a matter of focusing one character, one mod at a time, fix that one mod at a time, farm, 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 slice, slice, slice. When you get the mod, you move, you take it off, you move that mod to other characters. You'll fix your entire roster that way over time. Have a great day. I will talk to everybody soon. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good.